Hey everybody, I'm gonna share with you a simple content structure that's gonna make your life a ton easier and stop you doing or committing some of those fatal content errors. So uh, stay tuned for this little video. I'm gonna share it with you and you can go and implement this this week. So this is something you can do straight away. So on screen, you're, you can see a post that I put out earlier this week or last week saying five elements your content must have. And I'm going to share with you why this five elements, these five elements really work. Now, I'm sure you've had that scenario of trying to write a post and being stuck for ideas. I'm also sure that you've had that scenario where you've started roasting, writing a post and kind of like halfway through, it kind of morphs into another post. Um, it's very common that people have this trouble and it's one of the biggest problems people have is they try to do too much in one post. So here's a quick reminder. If you're writing copy for a post, think about it that your post is a 30 second, 30 to 60 second read. So anything longer than that, it's probably multiple posts you're trying to write. So you can give yourself a break right now and go, if my post is going to take longer than 60 or 30 to 60 seconds to consume, it's probably I'm trying to do too much in one post. So let me show you what these five elements are. So uh, first thing is, if you saw this post, I'm going to expand on it to make it easier for you. But the first part of this post, the five elements, the first element is called the hook. And if you can see my mouse here, my, uh, hopefully you can, my mouse is running around showing you that what the post looks like in the feed. In other words, when somebody stumbles across it, does it have enough appeal, color, curiosity to get people to want to know more? So the hook is often the image you use or the first bit of the video that you use, the first two, two or three seconds of the video. It's also uh, the first couple of lines of text. Does it get people curious? Does it make people go, hmm, I'll take a look? That's the hook. Now, if your hook's really good, people will stop scrolling and go, hmm, and they'll click that see more button. And then the posts expand. Now, 80% of your post success is down to the hook how you've constructed that together. Did it get people to get curious, stop scrolling, and click that see more? That's what the hook is there to do. So the second bit, as you can see in this, is the teaser. And the teaser is just about giving a little bit more information before you dive into what you're really going to say. And this just helps extend the stay, because LinkedIn and all social media platforms love it when you keep people on the platform for longer than the average. I think the average is about 10 seconds. So this is quite a short post here. But this teaser section here is just designed to get people's investment so they keep reading. It extends the stay. So here they are. If you aren't following this structure, you will miss one of the proven methods for writing content. Oh, I'm missing out. I'm encouraging people to pay more attention. So that's the teaser. Then we come to the substance. And in this post, the substance is here. It's not massive. It doesn't have to be. I don't have to explain the way the planet works in one post. I can give a little bit of value in each post. So here we go. Hook, teaser, substance, wrap up, and a call to action. Real simple. So the substance is just the points I want to make. What do I want to say? What's the information I want to deliver? So this one's short and sweet, but you could probably go a little bit longer if you wanted to. But this isn't an essay. This isn't an article. This is you giving short, sharp bits of value. So that's the substance. Then we come to a summary or a wrap up. Without these key elements, without these key elements, a post will struggle to get the traction and value, bring value to your audience. Real simple. It's just a reminder of why this is important, why you should try this, why it matters. And then the final thing is the call to action. And in this case, the call to action is, are you using a structure like this for your content? So you can see that not every call to action has to be book a call, go to my website, uh, buy now. It can just be 
asking people a question. And if you want to train your audience to engage with you, you're going to have to ask questions. Real simple. So this is the structure. Hook, teaser, substance, wrap up, and a call to action. But I'm going to tell you one more tip. And this tip's really going to help you. Where people get stuck is they try to build and construct posts in the wrong way. They start with the hook, trying to create the hook. And then, what am I going to post about? It's the wrong way around. Start with the call to action. What do you want people to do as a result of coming on this post? What's the broad message you want people to understand? The summary or the wrap-up. Then write your substance, then write your teaser, then do the hook, which is the image in the first couple of lines. You work from the bottom up, you'll find it's way easier to create content. And remember that rule. If the post takes longer than 30 to 60 seconds to read, it's probably multiple posts you're writing. So hopefully this tip has been useful. Just before you go, this Thursday, I'm starting the content challenge, LinkedIn content challenge. It's a seven-day challenge where I'm going to teach you how to write a certain type of post, and then you're going to make your own version. Short, sharp, 30-minute sessions each day, and I will get you tons of ideas, tons of ways to create content, and tons of ways to say the same thing from a different angle that allows your audience to get to know that what you're about, the value you can add, and the difference you can make. So, uh, seven day content challenge. It starts on Thursday. I'll put a link either in the description or wherever you're watching this. There will be a link. Check it out. See if it's for you. And if, if you want to really get that content machine working so it's quick and easy and effective, in other words, it's helping you attract and build an audience, you should sign up. So, wherever you're watching this, thank you for joining me. I hopefully this has been helpful. If you're struggling with content, tell me in the comments or wherever you're, wa or you're watching this, what are your big ch challenges with content? What are your big struggles? Check out the content challenge because we might be able to solve it inside that seven-day period. So thanks for joining me. Please do like, comment, subscribe, wherever you're watching, and go try this framework that will help you create content faster and easier.